Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Metroid Prime is playable with Dolphin within RetroArch. This is actually one of the first games I tested once I got um, RetroArch all set up. And I think it's probably the, the worst of the games I tested in terms of performance, but it's also, it still isn't bad. It just has a lot of stuttering to begin with. Though it could have been because I was trying to upscale a lot. As per usual, the, with these tests, I'm not upscaling at all. Mostly just because I don't want it to interfere with the um, stability or performance of the game. It doesn't necessarily have any issues that the that like PS2 upscaling does. So upscaling on PS2 can introduce certain visual artifacts, whereas I don't think that's the case on Dolphin, but it can have a bad effect or a bad side effect on performance. So I'd rather just not. I think the performance is actually fairly stable, it's just the audio pops every now and again. Yeah. I could probably get through the entirety of this area, actually. For the test. But I'm not worrying about scanning everything, like I did in the, uh, in the playthrough edit of the game. But yeah, it does, it does have quite a few issues to begin with. But these might only be in the cutscenes, and they're not too drastic, it's a couple frames. Like, as I'm doing this series, my, like, standards are changing. I mean, I do, I do say that one that I would consider playable would be one that has it has stutters, but they are very minimal. Whether that means there's not many of them, or the stutters that do occur don't affect FPS all, mu all that much. Obviously, if it's stuttering every, stuttering every second, I have a problem with it, but... but otherwise, if a, if a game stuttered once, 90% of the games I've covered will have ended up being playable with issues. Oof. Yeah, this probably is a playable with issues, actually. It is a bit worse. Uh, the performance is constantly, like, dipping. Still pretty impressive, though. Oh, come on. Hey! Oh, you don't start with the space jump. Shoot. Yeah, whenever you whenever you want to switch to the morph ball, it does sometimes kind of crap the bed. Yeah, like, my standards have changed, but I still think I'm going to probably say this is playable with issues, because it is pretty common. The stuttering, I mean. Oh, would I be able to do all this? I forgot there's a boss. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh. Alright, uh, that's where we get the map. Do you need to get the map? No. Cool. Well, there we go. You don't need to get the map. Who would have thought? Mm. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a playable with issues, because this is a lot worse than any of the others we've covered. It is dipping every other, every couple seconds. 
So whenever you open a door to load it, I'm pretty sure. No, which isn't ideal. Got him! Yeah, we got him. It's fine. Now we've got the elevator. I mean, maybe it'll buff out, but it seems every time I try and open a door, it cracks the bed. Come on. Oh, there's another one. Another dead guy. Hmm? Oh, there's probably one that causes the frame rate to dip. Or not. Should be one of the ones that load. Or take a while to load. Yeah, the doors that take a while to open. Oh, really? Oh, we got him. Nice. And whenever you switch to Moth Ball, it does kind of break. Mm hmm. Oh, really? I shot. Yeah, I shot the. the keypad. Sometimes it doesn't actually die when you switch to mothball. Yeah, a lot of the times it does. And they're not like minor frame drops either. They are fairly, fairly major. And it's 15 frames. 25%. Which aren't, you know, minor frame drops. Boss time! Ah, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. Too bad. Come on! There we go. Oh. Somehow I missed. Oh no! Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> kind of fat fingered it. Am I going along with it? I think I was. Whoops. <laughs> Unintended. Yeah, I thought I was going the opposite way of the force field, but... Nope. We evacuating. Seven minutes? No way. When do I lose all my stuff? Oh, it's in this next room. Or is it? Oh no no no, it's after an explosion. That's right. Get owned. There we go. It's just a matter of running. A whole lot of running. There we are. 
I don't remember where it is where there's a... A thing that can crush you, I think. Is it here? No. I don't actually remember where it is. Hmm? There we go. I think it might be through here. Also not. Yeah, whatever. It's somewhere, that's all that matters. Oh. <laughs> oh god, there's so many. They don't hurt that badly. Yeah, it could be much worse. I actually realised just how long it takes to get through this. I thought it was a really short five minute segment. I completely forgot there was a boss fight. Oh, here we go. I don't actually know if that can crush you. Probably just gets very close. But I don't know, I've never been hit by it, to be fair. Oh yeah, we have to grapple. Look who it is. See, watching the cutscenes, the game's at full speed. It only seems to not be full speed when I'm, uh, playing. Right, it's here where I lose everything. There we go. Ah, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. No, what I wanted to do was this. There we go. Explosion! There we go. And now we lose everything. Can't even charge beam. Oof. Big oof. Wait, where do I go? Wait, what? Oh, there, God. I could not see that, <laughs> somehow. I thought for a second then I was completely blocked in. No, I need to do this. Oh. Does seem like the game's stabilized now, though. <laughs> Ironically. There we go, we did it! Well, that'll do for the test. And, um... I don't know. I think I'll just say the game's playable with issues. Because, you know, it... It does have a sizable amount of dips. And they are... Fairly common. So, you know. Sad as that is. I'd have to say that Metroid Prime is playable with issues. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.